old. We have Major Shah who's joining us on the broadcast. He's our defense analyst. Major Shah, so uh, the U.S., of course, um, talking about the 2 plus 2 and the Indo-U.S. relations and how important um, India has become in terms of a global platform and their cause on China. Um, tell us your first reactions. See, U.S. has that way been very kind to us in a way that they proposed the idea of a cord. Cord meant Australia, Japan, India and U.S. will train their fighter pilots together at the U.S. Air Force Base in the, at the Anderson Air Force Base in the U.S. Now, there is also talk of getting Singapore involved with them. U.S. has withdrawn support from Pakistan, which is incidentally an enemy and was an ally of Pakistan at one time. U.S. is against China and U.S. also sees India as a very good neutralized force to work against China because China perceives U.S. as a threat and U.S. once again, I would not call it perceiving as a threat because to perceive as a threat, you have to first be an equal. But China right now is nowhere near U.S. But China is getting over ambitious and coming in, in, in that direction. So if China is not prevented now, it is not nipped right now, it can become a danger not only to US but to a lot of countries. For example, on 29th March, when they had an opinion piece on NATO in the Russia al yob which is an Arabic version of the Russian today, it was influenced by China, which, all, which you also mentioned that America is trying to centralize the world economy, including the oil seeds from the Gulf. Now, Indo-China, like, you know, Nikki Haley recently said, um, two days back, that we are withdrawing full support, we give financial aid to Pakistan, who end up killing our soldiers in Afghanistan. U.S. that way, our diplomatic relationships with U.S., look at Mr. Narendra Modi and Mr. Trump's relation. They are very good. So I think India enjoys a very good relationship with the U.S. and which would continue to enjoy in the near future as well. So that is something which is commendable. It should be actually, uh, India deserves a pat on its back for doing a good job in maintaining healthy and good relationship with people where it matters. Not just because of trade, not because of some uh, means, but unconditionally as well. For example, India's relationship with Nepal and Bhutan are totally unconditional, it's heartfelt. But China tried the same thing with Nepal and went around, and Nepal extended its hand in friendship, but China went around and bit Nepal by constructing uh, a construction in the Hamna district. You know, number 11 and 12 was illegally constructed in Nepal. But China claimed it was Tibet's land, it was their land. So now, but where, if you see, India and US, there has never been any <coughs> issue as such. There are so many Indians working in the U.S., so many NRIs, so many expats. And our U.S. embassy over here in Delhi, if you see, it is well guarded. We provide full security cover to our U.S. embassy as well. So most certainly I see a very, very good progressive saying that India is going to enjoy in future as well very good relationships with the U.S. Right, sir. And what kind of global problems apart from China do you think they are going to be working on together since they said that they are going to be focusing on solving global issues? So, apart from China, it is going to be keeping the whole... For example, ending terrorism in Pakistan. Pakistan almost got blacklisted from SATS. Now, with regards to UN... We are currently a temporary member despite giving maximum contribution towards the UN. And it could be because US controls most of the world in a superpower. So it could be, I hope, that we actually, people realize the contribution India does to UN and to other nations. And to see, to, to realize what India is. And we become a permanent member in UN as well. Secondly, I see... Not only with U.S., India's relationships with most of the countries that we see by sea are very good. Their diplomatic relationships are very good. My father was a diplomat in the Gulf. He was posted as the Indian Defense Attaché to Saudi Arabia. And that time I saw India's relationship with the Gulf countries. He had got King Khalid bin Sultan over to India. 
and so other countries apart from us also and i see definitely a very positive step because indian economy and indian india as a country is heading towards a superpower there is no doubt about it and one way is yes by getting support of other nations as well so now the fact that us will be uh, going through elections as well shortly um how do you think if uh, you know somebody besides trump is elected will affect our relationship with the us uh most certainly there is going to be a big difference because if biden wins or if trump wins that that determines again like trump is withdrawing full support from pakistan President Trump is also. I mean, there is one thing common about both of them. Biden and uh, Trump is at least both of them are anti-China. They see what China is up to. But India's relationship right now, because of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Trump, are very good. So let us see. In case Biden wins, then maybe US would st- still be an ally of Pakistan, and Pakistan is our enemy. As the saying goes. the enemy of enemy it become a friend if there two enemies and both of them have a common enemy they become a friend automatically so i see uh, in, even if didn't win actually uh, at least it won't affect india in any manner apart from us support being pulled up in withdrawn or more support given given to pakistan with with india it remains the same actually i feel Right, and how do you think this partnership will help us in terms of uh, solidifying our defence strategy, in terms of information and other things? See, with regards to our defence strategy, in terms of information and other things, because currently our defence attaché in the US and the US defence attaché in India, it is a very good. It's 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 flowing very smoothly. unlike you know in uh, like uh, pakistan and france where they full they 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 withdrew the diplomats from there so i feel it is going to be it is all going to be positive and you know let's hope for the best and it is definitely going to be positive i see a very very positive outcome of our entire relationship with us